it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? And I'm back with um, unconventional products, products I didn't expect, and my unsung heroes. And there are a lot of powders today. So um, I'll get started with what I have on my face. And I have the Pretty Fresh Foundation in 30 Fair, and I mixed a little bit of the Soul Face and Body. This is the one in Fair. So it is a sister product to ColourPop. You can get it on the same website. And um, then as far as my blush, I went ahead and used the Milk Blush. Um, and again, I'm trying to go ahead and do a cream with the powder over it so that it stays uh, longer. And this um, Milk is from their holiday set, and they had a set of uh, five in a bag. And then I also did go ahead and use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Concealer, and that's that one. As far as the powder um, blush, that gets me to my first uh, unconventional product. And um, if you know me, then you know that if I bust the packaging into a million pieces, it means that I really like the product. And uh, this is by Essence, and this is their uh, Star Kissed, and it's a combination of um, bronzer blush and highlighter so that's what i have on there and that's what i have um yeah as uh, my powder blush on and then um they also came out with a couple of different colors and this one is sun kissed it's also by essence and um again it's a mix of um blush bronzer and highlighter i actually use this one as bronzer for me essence you can go ahead and get it alta it's really um or you can order it from alta as well uh, the newer, more kind of unconventional products that I uh, found were actually at the beginning of the year. Uh, these are from Seoul as well. Um, this one is Bronze Hour. Yeah, let's see if we can get it to kind of show up here. Yeah, there it is. And um, it's a powder. It's uh, very highlighty. Um, this one is Wildflower Honey. And um, it's actually a duochrome that goes to gold and then to red. And then the other one is uh, Starlight. And Starlight is what I have on as my highlighter today. This one is actually very glittery. So um, these are again from Soul, and you can get Soul on the ColourPop website. It's a sister company. It's uh, mainly their uh, body lotions and that kind of thing. And so those are uh, some powders that I found that worked really well for me this year. Another ColourPop, and this is from the She's, is it the uh, Opal Collection or the Seashell Collection? But this one um, I actually use as a blush. You can use it as blush or highlighter. And this one is Shell Yeah. And this one's on the ColourPop website. Um, really good cream formula as far as blush. Really liking that. Uh, another color pop. Um, this actually came out as a highlighter, and I've been using it as a highlighter and a blush. It's addicted to you, and um, so this one is actually from Color Pop, and it's one of their highlighters. A couple of other powders that I have just been loving this year um, from Flower, their Pyramid highlighters, and uh, they come in peach and. Um, yeah, I think this one is peach glow, and they have a rose glow as well, and I have both, and I really love them. And um, you just pick them up with a the brush. They're a powder product. This uh, Mavi Mattes from Physician Formula, um, I've really loved this blush. Um, it has a couple of different colors in it, and you can swirl it all together and get a very, very pigmented blush. It's very matte very pretty um, and then the whole what started the whole bronzer movement was this um, bare minerals and this one is the one in kiss of copper I only have one I wish I picked up all three um, but this started the combination of bronzer and a high or bronzer blush and highlighter all in one and so been loving this product and this product that started out all. And then started um, 
all of these sort of products being made. So um, it's really fun. And um, again, these are all products that are they're unsung heroes and they're all sorts of important to me. So um, the flower bronzer in um, it's part of the heat wave collection in Sunrise um, that has a definite pink base on it is definitely uh, one of the ones that I've been using for a couple of years now. Oh, I forgot what's on my lips. So um, I have the ColourPop Glowing Lips in Lavender and then the Cashew uh, Lip Gloss by Tower 28. So that's what I have on there. And both of these are favorites. This Glowing Lip has become really popular by ColourPop. Really nice formula, easy to put on. You don't have to you know, worry about it ending up all over everywhere. So I really, uh, another pop, or another product that got really popular and kind of started off as sort of an odd, an odd duck. How's that? And um, I also had the ColourPop gel eyeliner on in brown. And um, yeah, the Thicket Stick It by NYX in light ash brown. And the Essence uh, Volume Stylist in 18 hour wear. And so, yeah, that's what I have on my face today. Oh, there goes the heater. And then a couple of other powders that I've been loving, the Glowish Powder by Huda, and it is very glowy. I have mine in Fair Light, and as you can see, I've hit Pam on it. I really like it, and it's an amazing finishing powder that I love. Another odd deck, because it's just so good, and you can't really define it, is the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. I have mine in One Fair. And um, it just erases things. I love to use it to just, you know, finish everything up. I'll put a glowy powder or a glowy powder on and then put a little of this in my problem spots and it just works wonders. So again, uh, amazing powder. And um, you can get different sizes, which is amazingly wonderful. These are also tend to be my workhorses that I go back to over and over and over again. Um, let's see, the Hourglass. I got this last year and I don't think I've shown it in a lot of videos, but I've used it a ton this year. I have a big dip in this one. This is their universal powder that I use as a finishing powder. Two blushes, bronzer, and highlighter, and um, really good purchase in that it's going to last me more than a year. And um, so, yeah, it's kind of a sticker shop, but these powders last a long time. So, um, again, this is one from last year. And let's see, um, another powder that I actually have on today is the Sungasm. I guess the packaging is torn off. I have a backup of this. And this is the Sungasm by Catrice. You can get this on Amazon or the Catrice website. I have this on as my finishing powder today. And it's a pink powder. It's really, um, it's really glowy. It gives you really glowy finish. And so again, another one of my workhorses that I love to go ahead and um, it'll give me a shine all day long. So love this stuff. And um, a few other products, uh, Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1. I'm not sure if this officially came out this year, but I got it this year. I'm almost through with it. Um, you can use it underneath your uh, makeup to go ahead and get a glowy finish. And um, the one by e.l.f. Um, is sold out all the time, but this one you can probably find. It only comes in four or five colors, but again, it goes under your foundation. So, yeah. I did pick up the ColourPop uh, Muppets palette. That's what I have on my eyes today. And so I went pink, 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 pink. I mean, Miss Piggy and Mwah. Yep, so that's what I did today. Um, I have this color on my inner corner. This color also on my inner corner. I went ahead and did uh, this one on the outer corner and then this one on the brow bone and a little bit of this right um, uh, above the brow bone. So uh, that's what I have on for my eyeshadow. The formula is great. I'm really loving it. The colors are just plain fun. 
so it's a really good palette if you're looking for a last minute holiday gift. Uh, this one, I got it over at Ulta, so it's over there. It's a really good palette. And these are all things that, you know, just ended up being unsung heroes, workhorses, unconventional uh, complexion products that I just loved throughout the year. So I thought I'd do a video dedicated to all of them. Oh, and I forgot a couple. So, um, actually, this one is one I'm just trying out now. It's by Essence. It's called Hello Good Stuff. And it's a glow lotion that goes underneath your foundation. Uh, these are tried and true, the She Glam. I have this on right now, and this is the lotion that needs a better pump. Um, but again, I really like this one. Um, and it's what I have on, you know, in through here. Uh, the Fourth Ray, and again, Fourth Ray is a sister company to ColourPop. It's on the ColourPop website. The Glisten Up, I love to set my makeup with this. Um, it gives you just a really glowy look, and it smells like oranges, so it's wonderful. And um, I think as far as all my unconventional products, that's probably unconventional and workhorses and uh, unsung heroes so uh, that's a video and I hope you liked it and I'll see you later bye